When you draw a Lewis electron dot structure for a molecule, you can assign a formal charge to each atom in the molecule based on your structure. The way you do that is you follow this recipe. You take the electrons and you share them equally about each atom. So if there's bonded electrons, for instance these four, they'll be shared between this oxygen and this nitrogen. You find the number of electrons around each atom in the molecule and you compare that to the number of electrons around the atom as a neutral atom. And the difference will be the formal charge. So let's do that. Nitrogen in this case has one, two, three, four electrons in a bond, so it gets two electrons here. Two electrons from this lone pair, it doesn't have to share those with anyone. And one more in this bond shared with the oxygen. So a total of five electrons around nitrogen in this molecule. What about the oxygens? We'll have to treat them separately, so we'll do this oxygen. This oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six electrons in lone pairs that it doesn't have to share with anyone. And it has to share these two with nitrogen, so one more. Six and one is seven, so seven electrons around oxygen in this molecule. Compare that to the neutral atoms. Nitrogen, five valence electrons. Oxygen, six valence electrons. So the formal charge is zero for nitrogen, it has the same number of electrons in the molecule and the neutral atoms, and it'll be minus one for this oxygen. It has one more electron in the molecule than it does in the neutral atom. Formal charge of zero and minus one will help us determine the quality of Lewis electron dot structures, and we'll look at that next.